Founded along a wagon trail over 160 years ago, the small town of Susanville, California is seemingly home to countless spirits. From haunted homes and cemeteries, to mysterious tunnels and an abandoned hospital. I'm Kenny, your captain, and welcome to Spooky Legends of Susanville. Well, hello everyone. I'm Kenny, your captain, and welcome back to Spooky Legends of Susanville. Uh, we're going to continue on with some more of uh, Susanville's history and uh, how it was founded. Uh, in our last video, we uh, talked about the early life of Isaac Roop, uh, who was the founder of the town. Uh, here we're going to continue on uh, with the uh, founding of Lassen County. Uh, if you haven't seen that video about Isaac Roop, uh, check in the description of this video. I'll have a link uh, down there. Well, in the 1860s, uh, there was a lot of confusion over the newly established border between uh, California and, and uh, the new uh, uh, Nevada uh, uh, County. Uh, there was no official survey done. Uh, a lot of people th thought they were living in one state when they were living in another. Well, the uh, citizens of uh, Honey Lake Valley and uh, Root Town were quite literally uh, caught in the middle of this uh, land dispute. Uh, the citizens living here in this area, uh, they didn't want to be a part of uh, California and Plumas County. Well, in order to clear up some of this confusion, uh, Nevada established uh, Root County in uh, 1863, and uh, Isaac Roop was appointed the governor. Well, Plumas County would not recognize this new Roop County. Uh, so they sent out officials to go collect taxes from uh, the people living in Rooptown. Of course, this didn't go well for these residents. Uh, the, the reaction was like, well, who the hell do you think you are charging us taxes for somewhere we don't live? Well, things started to escalate a little bit more, and judges from both these counties uh, started uh, issuing warrants uh, for the other county's officials. Well, this led to the beginning of what was the uh, short uh, sagebrush war. Uh, this started on uh, February of 1963 uh, on Friday the 13th. It was a posse of about 40 men from Plumas County. Uh, they were led by a uh, Sheriff E.H. Pierce. Uh, they arrived in Susanville, or Roop Town at the time, uh, with the intention of uh, arresting uh, Isaac Roop and uh, several other citizens. Well, for nearly uh, two days, uh, Roop and the other town citizens, uh, they, they peacefully uh, negotiated with the, uh, the men from uh, Plumas County. Well, unfortunately, uh, uh, negotiations fell apart and started to get a little hostile, and uh, by the 15th, uh, shooting began. Well, the men from Plumas County, uh, they uh, bunkered down in a barn. So here we are at the corner of North Union and Nevada Street. Today there is a church here. At the time of the Sagebrush War, this is where the uh, the posse from Plumas County was held up in a, a barn that stood somewhere on this spot or near this spot. You see just down there is the area Roop's Fort in the museum. But yeah, this is where uh, the other party was and there's houses between them now, but yeah, they were having a good old-fashioned shootout. And uh, Roop and uh, his people, about 30 of them, uh, they they gathered uh, uh, up in uh, uh, his cabin, uh, or around his cabin too, I suppose. It's a small cabin. But uh, this is how this building uh, got its two names. Of course, uh, Roop's Fort and uh, Fort Defiance. I heard one story that there are still bullet holes in the side of the building, but... I am unsure if that's true or not, or where they would be. Well, the shooting lasted around uh, four to five hours. Uh, during the conflict, there were uh, two casualties, uh, one on each side. Uh, on the Plumas side, there was a uh, William Bradford. Uh, he was shot in the thigh. Uh, I'm guessing uh, an artery was hit and uh, he bled out. Uh, just my guess. Uh, on Roop's side, uh, there was the Judge John Ward. Uh, he was shot in the chest. Eventually, a ceasefire was called, and both sides uh, decided uh, to leave the uh, the decision of what was going on to the higher officials of California and Nevada. 
Well, borders were finally established on, on April 1st of uh, 1864. Uh, Lassen County uh, was officially established, part of California. Well, so at the time of uh, the recording of this video, uh, Lassen County is uh, soon going to be celebrating its uh, 159th uh, anniversary. Well, that's about all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to give us a like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to do the next video. We're going to finish up our... our look at the founding of Susanville uh, w with a look at uh, who was uh, Susan, uh, Isaac Roop's daughter. Again, be sure to give us a like, share, and subscribe. Check down in the description for a link to our Spreadshirt store. Uh, there we have uh, t-shirts, apparel, cups, glasses, backpacks, you name it, it, it it's on there now. <laughs> well, I'm Kenny, your captain. Thanks again. Hopefully I'll see you next time.